On behalf of Ann and me, we'd like to wish our dad, Dr. John, a very happy 70th birthday. You know, I recently turned 40 and it kind of made me think about probably the best 40th birthday party I've ever been involved in, and that's my dad's, the ice cream machine party. Ann and I had the opportunity to kind of recount this uh, ice cream party a couple of years ago in a video. For this extravaganza, my dad and friends from Sally built literally dozens of huge machines built for the sole purpose of churning ice cream. And again, more odd collectibles to add to the house. Seven huge ice cream makers and a giant movie screen in our backyard that showed the 10 minute 16 millimeter film about a town, Rock Salt City, and with me, my mom and dad, and other friends, and as Rob as the cameraman, we shot the film of how an ice cream machine transformed the town. So now it's 2019, 30 years after that famous party, and Anne and I thought it was time to dust off the old film and revitalize and rewatch the legend of Rock Salt City. But first, we gotta find a projector that'll play this thing. It wasn't easy. The magnetic soundtrack on the film required a very rare projector, but luckily, eBay came through and we found one that was shipped from New York City. And this is what we got a 1957 Kodak pageant projector. Actually, it's the exact same model that we used 30 years ago for the ice cream party. Here in Denver, we watched the movie as a family many times, and I can assure you, Lily loved it. Papa John, I've always wanted to see The Legend of Rock Salt City. All right, so now it's time to digitize the film. And what does that mean? That means getting it from film format to video. So what we did was we set up a video camera and actually filmed the projection onto a projection screen, which, you know, we tried it a bunch of different ways and we tried different settings and messed with the camera, but ultimately the quality just wasn't there. We had to try something different. That led me to Rocky Mountain Production and Post. We're lucky to have one of the few facilities in the country that does frame by frame scanning of super 16 millimeter film. That means they digitize films very carefully. They've done them for the National Archives, and they use a much more precise and quality method than local camera shops. First, they, they review the entire film, looking for any damaged pieces, and they fix splices. Then, they load it onto their 2K scanners, and the equipment scans each individual frame one frame at a time. The film runs through the machine at about half speed, so the extra slow speed is very gentle on the film. Then these individual images are spliced together digitally in the computer and put together to create a movie file. Lastly, they add color correction and digital enhancements. Back in my studio, I then load the files onto editing equipment and carefully resync the audio with the picture. In the original film, the audio was out of sync by about half a second. In the new version, it's all fixed. Yeah. Lastly, we wanted to change the aspect ratio to make it more modern, the 16 by 9 ratio of today's TV. But that meant looking at each individual scene and then choosing and cropping the right portion of the frame so that we didn't lose any critical information. Okay, so now we're ready to go. A fully digitally remastered Legend of Rock Salt City. So I was 11 when we made this movie, and um, watching it 30 years later, I'm just so impressed that my dad pulled it off. I mean, it's hard to make a movie, let alone a film, where you basically have one chance to make each shot. But uh, it's had a lasting impression on me and my interest in cameras and video and film. And so I'm just glad that we can celebrate it, uh, we can rewatch it, and we can share it with the friends and the family and all the people from Sally that were in the movie in the first place. So everyone enjoy, and Dad, from Ann and me, happy birthday. Now it's time to watch the movie. I'm sure many of you are wondering why I invented so many ways to make ice cream. This is a true story of how it could have happened.
just out of gas. I don't know, maybe we're on fire. But John, did you put that Plymouth Jigger in there? You mean this Plymouth Jigger? Oh, oh no. no. signs about a town. Rock Top City, population four. Four they years, used to have 400. I wonder what happened to them. They all died. Well, let's go in and give them some well, help. Maybe there's some mechanics there. Hopefully there is. I wasn't really worried about the mishap of the car. After all, I was with my friends, we were having a good time, and I certainly had nothing to do with the brawl found under the hood. I wonder who did. What's wrong people want here in this town? I was noticing that you were working on this package. Don't touch my car. Well, we got a Packard up the road that's broken down. There were a few extra things under the hood. We're trying to straighten it up, but we need some professional help. I don't be working on nobody's car below. Oh, man. Dad, I gotta get some, I gotta get some Dad, yes, what is your problem? Man, I want to see what's going car down now. Dad, you take this to your rope. You go down there. You get these nice oh, pieces honey. of car. Oh, honey. Go on. Oh, Come on now. Okay. Take these, dude. Warm, isn't it? Y'all want to come up here and sit? I can't see how much we appreciate this. He's a My name's John. What's your name? Ruby. They call me Ruby. Hey, Miss Ruby. Ruby. Well, thanks for the help. Listen, where's everybody? Why is this town so quiet? What's going on? Well, one time this whole thing was real prosperous town, and then the bottom, we make rock salt, you know? The bottom fell out of the rock salt factory, and all of our dreams hopes and desires just went out the door with it. I guess you could say you really hit rock bottom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you know, you know, well, what do y'all do for fun here? Well, Missy, we don't have no fun around here. So what do you make with rock salt anyway? Salt water, Kathy? Ham? Pork rind? Ice cream. Ice cream? Ice cream. Yeah, 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 ice cream. Ice cream. You like ice cream, don't you, Miss Ruby? Ice cream? I don't think I ever had no ice cream. I've had sour cream and and cream of corn and whipped cream, but I ain't never had no ice cream. We can't yeah. make no ice cream. We ain't got no ice cream making machine around here. Hey, maybe we can make them an ice cream yeah. making machine. Yeah. 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 Turn them yeah. some homemade ice cream. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got an idea. They're crazy. They're crazy, James. Get, get back from behind them. They're crazy. I don't know what to do. Now that I reflect on it, we found ourselves in a rather primitive environment. But, as my daddy always said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I think there was something about a silk purse and a cow's ear, too. But anyway, as the town folk watched in disbelief, we went about the job of gathering up the necessary parts to build an ice cream machine. All right. Oh, this will be great. Now, 
I suppose that most normal people would be worried about getting their car fixed and getting on with the day's activity. But over the years, I've acquired a reputation of, well, a, a mad scientist, which I felt a compelling need to live up to. So I analyzed all the parts gathered up by my friends. It wasn't an easy task. I had an old gasoline engine, a wagon wheel, some leather belts, and a bunch of enthusiasm and determination. It wasn't too long, and we were ready for a trial run. Okay, that gonna work? Let's, right, let's move it out. Let's move it a little bit. Let's see if she'll crank up. Now, if it cranks up, we're gonna have to get some ice cream and some ice and go to the next step, okay? I'll get the ice. All right, let's see if it'll crank first. Cross your fingers. The old motor chugged for about 30 minutes. Everybody gathered around. We were so excited we couldn't stand it. An amazing thing happened when the town folk tasted our ice cream. Ruby, would you like the first bite? I've been, I've been wanting me some of this for so long. Why, thank you. Mm. Wow! Dad, have some of this. Mm. <laughs>
Like my daddy always told me, you can get anything you want if you ask the man who has it and he says yes. Now think about that.